Hey everyone, welcome back to My Lovely Daughter. Um, last episode I kind of noticed that I was a little quiet, so I'm now practically kissing my microphone. So hopefully that'll help a little bit. However, this means you get all more lip smacking. Sorry. I'm sorry for that. Anyway. Hmm. A soul infusing ritual? Aha! This is the process to instill a soul into a body. Could it be? This is what I need to revive our hair. Yeah. There is still hope. I should study this process carefully. Hmm. It seems the ritual can only be performed under a full moon. That makes sense. Make sure to remember that and make no mistakes. Soul infusing ritual. Affinity levels need to be high. Once every full moon. Affinity is over 30%. Extracting your soul will remove its affinities. Always check the affinities. More days, more money. Jobs come and go. Need to be alert throughout the week. If job, then homunculus. Oh, so you get an okay amount of money. Ooh, interesting. So you get an okay amount of money if it's the same, if it's a similar type, you know, analogous type. You get double it if it matches, and you get half of it if it's a bad one. The same 200%, close 100%, distant 50%. Interesting. Okay. Knife seller's wife, the product of a broken family. I imagine uh, that sentence could be inserted at the start of nearly everyone's <laughs> little uh, oh, introduction. She became the wife of a knife seller more for protection than love. No interactions recorded. No request received. Careful assistance. Okay. Smelter, formerly a member of a violent gang, he hates anyone who points out his disability. Oh, yeah, isn't his hand crippled or something? He decided to uh, be a smelter because it's the most dangerous job in the village. Sorry to crack my own neck. Old blacksmith. He was a good blacksmith, betrayed by the clients who stole his clients and his wife. He was exiled to this village because he was caught robbing a bank. Interesting. Guard. As the only one in town not exiled by society, he considers his to be the most righteous. Almost everyone hates him because of his ego. No one wants to be near him. Everyone considers him a creep and drunkard. If not for his cooking steel, no one will patronize his restaurant. Occult leader. That's a dope name, dude. Char charismatic person able to influence through words alone. Because of the class than everyone else. I distrust him. What he preaches is contrary to what he does. I'm just checking to make sure I'm recording. Slum gangster. He lives life how he wants. There are no goals, rules, obligations in his world. He knows only how to survive amidst other predators. That's cool. Toy maker. No one trusts him with their children because of his dark past, even though his job is amazing. He loves his job because it's his only connection to the little ones. Oh dear. Gardener. Ever since her husband's death, a great loneliness had laid behind her smile. She has still not realized that a miscalculation in her accounting led to her being guilty of corruption. What? Uh, pet keeper. Orphan who speaks harshly and impatiently to her customers. The pets and even wild animals love being close to her. Material seller. Patient person with a bad gambling habit. Because of that habit, he's always fighting with his wife. He was exiled as a teenager for reasons unknown. And then these are the notes from the past. Okay. I feel a little better about the villager section now that I know that they're actually, you know, not just ingredients for me to grind up and make into my dolls. Full moon's nearly here. I must grow the soul quickly. I'm gonna make another homunculus with ingredients from that strange shopkeeper. So do they have to... Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Low quality organic ingredient easily identifiable by its awful taste. Okay, so now we're mixing and matching. I, I, I don't think I'm going to like what's going to come out of this board. Oh no, what's wrong with her body? <laughs> it's incomplete and fragile. <laughs> Wait, are uh, yeah, my daughter? I remember. I should never combine three different ingredients or I'll get an inferior homunculus like this one. Her abilities are quite limited. Doubt she can work as well as a normal homunculus could. Ugh, so... It's a despair type homunculus. What's her name?
you know, like Goop. I was going to name her Goop, but then I was like, wait, yeah, I'll just misspell Gwyneth Paltrow's name. Some of the rooms in the house are too damaged for me to keep my home to the city. I had to fix them before I can use them, but there's no way I can do it by myself. I'm sure my old friend can give me a hand with this problem. But if I wanted help for free, she will no doubt require payment for her services from now on. I need to head out and gather more gold for my daughter. Gwyneth P. Are you really my father? Do you need something? Are you really my father? Is there something wrong with me? There is. Do you want to spend some time with Gwyneth P? You can only do this once a day. Well, she's sad, so I don't think I'll make her any happy. Actually, let's just... Wait. Ah, a homunculus has left a letter on her door. She recorded my journal. Hey, Dad. Walking to the villages is hard for me. It is so easy to leave parts of myself behind. Now, the weather can be troublesome when it rains. You had better take good care of me after all the work I do for you. From Clay. Should ask the shopkeeper if she can arrange to have it fixed. So, I'm a little unclear on how the weeks work. Will I be able to. Let's give me another way to get gold. Anything else I can do? Someone's approaching. Hey, you, Mr. Faust. Do you have any good quality clay? Well, usually, I want to have you had it. Good clay? Well, that's what I have. Very well, I have that. I know. Sometimes you just had high quality ingredients and sell them to me or the other villagers. Yeah, when homunculus perishes, it leaves a residual, medium, or high quality ingredient. Of course, you don't have to wait for one to die. Oh boy. I can kill one to obtain it. Uh, well, I guess I can get it. Well, it'll be rather pricey. I desperately need it for my job. I don't care how much it is. Listen, I only have two weeks, so please deliver it to me, or else my wife will kill me. It has a lot of gold, but great timing. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for more opportunities like this. Just be careful not to fail to live on time, otherwise the villager will shoot me and lose trust in you. Not to worry, I'll have it ready before you know it. Well, thank you so much. Do you worry off the shoulders? I'll see you soon, then. In need of clay for 200 gold. Need some clay to close out a gambling debt. If you need the money to cover my gambling losses, don't tell the wife. Okay, he's gone. Take care of his request after I get back home. So now I should make these homunculi work to bring gold and increase their affinities. Okay. Shop. The the way that these are here are almost make it look like shop with air quotes on it. Okay. Duck bar. Almonds. Ooh. That's nice. Candy. Ice cream. A gift box. Fourth room repair. Yowza. Ship the balm. Ooh, that's expensive. So I guess I'm gonna have to be juggling um everything while being forced to spend money on the Well, let's get, um, let's get three of each. Well, they call it. Roasted almonds. Ooh. Um, let's get a little more clay. Guard substitution for anger. I got just the guy for you. Yeah, this is what I like. Uh, we need someone who's afraid. Nope. Sorry. Someone who's afraid. Someone who's sad. I need to conduct a ritual. One of the ingredients, Chase of a Virgin, need to be fresh. Find me anyone who can provide it. So she's a sadness type, so I feel like I need to hear it. It's nice. This really reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. What with how, um, pencil and paper the... Well, how pencil and paper the art style is. Although Darkest Dungeon also is very pencil and paper in terms of. Just to check that. Pencil and paper in terms of. Uh... Oh lord, help me. The stats and the gameplay. Sorry, my brain wasn't working. Uh, Alright, let's look for someone. So it'll be most useful to get. I want to improve my restaurant's ambiance and for a singer who can provide a cheerful environment. 
and so on. Here we go. Accept. Get in there, Gwen Paltrow. At least I'm not useless here. Yeah, a lot of it's very, very darkest dungeon. All right. Fear. Angry. Haha, <laughs> not bad. I love this place. Clank, you know what? Let this work. I want to milk as much out of these homunculi as I can. It would be great if I thought about the things that I said more than not. Just not. Just not. Okay, so if I squeeze her in here on, on three days, will that be fine? I guess we'll find out, right? I keep clicking on things that aren't my thing. So he doesn't have a job anymore. For me to work, at least. These are all joy based. That's fear based. Here we go. So is the time just like a. It's a maximum of three days? I guess we'll find out. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's, it is a maximum of three days. So I earned a lot of money. Game is saved. Well, the homunculi have gathered some affinity from the villagers. They've really grown. I think it's time to perform a sacrifice. Hopefully the results will be satisfying this time. Okay. Clay. You're level five and you've got a bar of affection. Okay. No, 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 don't dare to come in here. <laughs> Mid quality. He's one of the most disgusting creations he has ever made. He simply decides to take her to the backyard, trap her in a containment seal, and leave her there until the rain washes her away. What a horrible fate! And then it gets chewed up by my daughter orb. Oh. Okay. So it gives. Sacrifice went smoother than last time. I managed to stimulate my daughter's soul. Got better residual transmutation ingredients. What luck. It appears this clay is exactly what that villager wanted. I should separate this clay from the other ingredients so I'll not actually use it for transmutation. So, anything I can do for that? Quests. Commit. Oh, nice. That's convenient. Now I will not accidentally mix it up with the transmutation ingredients. That's a very useful, that's a very good gameplay thing. In a game where basically everything is um, inventory management, that's a very, very convenient thing to put in your game. I like that a lot. That's a very smart idea. I only need to deliver it to that villager for the next time I can go out to receive my payment. Okay, cool. But wait, there's more. It's a full moon tonight. This is the only time I can perform the infusing ritual. Well, not the only time. Must infuse the soul into my daughter's bod. The orb. Shining brighter now. Oh, Celestials, please be with me. Guide me to revive video game. Okay. To prevent the body from deteriorating, Faust must apply preservation balm before the meter runs out. Faust can try to infuse his daughter's soul a week for every month. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. I like how uh, the, the designs are out of constant. Ritual ends, but nothing seems to change. Her body remains rigid. Just as Faust begins to lose hope, her fingers twitch. Faust's confidence reunited, he waits with anticipation. For a while, her fingers cease moving, and her body is stone soulless more, as if nothing had ever happened. The anticipation leaves Faust, paralyzing him with disbelief. Faust comes to consider the experiment a failure. He extracts the soul from his, her body, and puts it back into the chamber. Oh man, the art style is so grotesque. Game is saved. I failed. No, no, no. This is not happening. I cannot believe this. I saw her fingers move, but why did she not wake up? Something is missing. There is something more I need to accomplish. The book mentions something about finding the right balance of affinities. That must be it. Soul is not ready because it lacks some of the necessary affinities. I need to collect myself. There's no reason to grieve over this fear. I must prepare more experiments. 
His experiment provided Faust an elite of what he must do next to accomplish the goal. He does not know it yet, but his experiments will lead him to an unexpected revelation. Soon he'll find his destiny. Hmm. Hmm. Does it include my daughter's affinity? I must update my notes to make sure I have the correct affinities. Okay. So, I wonder what this all means exactly. So, homunculi, better with hands, better with affinities, cool. Beware of failed homunculi, they're half as good as the common homunculus. Okay, so, a normal ingredient, all, all normal ingredients gives you a one, all medium ingredients gives you a four, and then all max ingredients gives you a seven. Kill sacrifice. Affinity of the homunculus increases the corresponding soul affinity. So do some minerals, plus three full moon. Affinity levels need to be high. So all these need to be above 30%, I guess. Extracting your soul will move its affinities. Do not disappoint them. Gain their trust by do job. Finish request, talk. Village is a salak. Always check the affinities, more days, more money. Jobs come and go, be alert throughout the week. Better quality means higher level homunculi, better quality means more valuable work request. Each kill produces an ingredient. Mid quality starts to be available from level two, high quality starts to be available from level seven. Interesting. Do more to open more slots compared to other requests. Beware people will be mad if their requests are not fulfilled. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make choices on people. Okay, interesting. Soul seems temptuous when an item with an affinity is nearby. Apparently, by giving an affinity affecting item to the soul, soul's corresponding affinity will be decreased. This will surely be useful when I discover my daughter's precise affinity combination. Interesting. So I can throw shit in here and burn it up, and it'll decrease the stat in question instead of raising it. Or, well, yeah, because all homunculi share my daughter's stat, I guess. Uh, this is the soul's affinity window, affinity information window. Experimentation is needed to determine the combination that matches Faust's daughter. So the affinity meters can be filled by sacrificing a homunculi. Meters will be reset if an infusion ritual fails. Burning a gift from the soul chamber will decrease the affinity value of the soul's corresponding affinity. So currently she's at zero everything. So am I. Well. Alright. Let's throw some clay in here. Commonly used by kids as a toy. Yep, yep, come on. See, we'll have her back. It's another mud. What's her name? Joanna. No. Well, I've used all the clay names. <laughs> all right. You're gonna be the new clay. Can we just keep going? Oh, I do kind of want to see a whole meat, a whole meat lady. <laughs> um, I am not sure what I was expecting. What's her name? Chloe. Joan. Okay. She's she's got some in her. This is a new one. Been here a week and my life has been terrible. We are living in a cramped, rickety hunt that's full of du dust, dirt, and bugs. What a disgusting place. I sorely miss our house in Mile Capital. 
My wife and daughter are always crying these days. Will they ever forgive me for bringing this miserable fate? No, no, no. It was not my fault. I must do something if I have to make a better living. I'm going to start collecting ingredients so I can sell medical potions to the townsfolk. Okay, interesting. And that's everything new. There's no open room for new homework. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to get some cash money here, so I might be able to buy that new room. Actually, let's go to the homunculi. Let's spend some time with Clayton. <laughs> Aww. I'm not sure what's happening here. Hi, it was fun. We should play some more. No, sweetie. Now we have to get to work. So, I got lucky. I can't believe you got the ingredient in time. Thanks a lot. Uh-huh. So I'm not exactly sure. Whoa, okay. Okay. Ooh, high quality clay. So those boys playing with mud. I think they were like dolls made of clay. Do you want to be clay? Very I don't know if I want to be friends with you. Joyful aid. Um, I don't have any joyful aids right now. Assistant pet keeper. Oh, I have a sentence, girl. Here's what I come from. Tears of a virgin. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to work out with him. Work with him, at least. Uh, I need someone who has fear. Well, I just got a fear girl. They accept me to my hand. I know about you. Get an anger girl. Crank it into overdrive. Alright. Got some cash money. Lively model. Oh. Blade of iron. High quality iron. Blade shatter during a fight. High quality iron. I haven't even seen iron, bro. Oh, well. Professional mourner. Have I got the girl for you. Um... Going in there. Labor of love. Uh, for assigning 15 homunculi to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just get Clayton back in there. So, if I go spend time with... Oh, man. Yes? Please don't hurt me. Yes? Oh, my. She's so weird and gooey. Spend time with Joan? Oh, we're having a tea party! That's unexpectedly cute. I'm surprised. I thought that you never wanted to play with me again. Thank you, Father. I'm calm. Yes, I'm calm. What is that in your hand? Oh, it is nothing. Sorry. I wish to be able to dance all day, but I might need music to accompany me. I've already spent too much time with my homunculi today. Oh, so you can only do one. Okay. Don't have any gifts for me. Okay. Anything new in here? Oh, 
dear. Her body rots too easily, keeping maggots away is nightmarish. Highest level owned two. An unsuccessful breed of homunculi with prominent sadness affinity. It's not wise to combine three different ingredients. So I assume that at some point I will get um, I assume I will get the ability to combine some things. That's a good second episode. Um, what is that? Is that a hell portal out there? Uh, I better than I thought. More towards the villagers are strong mind and hunger line. Stronger bond to me, the Hunkulai are not only more productive, but will take the initiative to find a perfect work. This place looks great. Sure. I think this place, this place I think is the best place we can Toy maker. Eh. Sure. Quality wood from the switch. Must be rigid enough to elevate my stage high enough that everyone can see. Okay, okay. I'll take Thank you guys for coming by. Uh, I'm having a great deal of fun with this game, as I already said. Uh, it's a really cool game. And I really enjoy it. Um, this is my lovely daughter again. And I have been Alfred. Uh, thank you for coming by. You know, saying hey, visiting me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of this unless you watch something else of mine uh before the next episode comes out or if you're marathoning or i don't, I don't know um anyway uh ben alfred thank you <laughs>